Hello everyone. This is Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Turn this on silent so it stops interrupting me. I apologize. <laughs> A lot of chaos going on in the world right now. And I can feel it. At 12.01 a.m. Tuesday, March 24th, the state of Michigan where I live and have lived all my life, instituted a shelter-in-place order, and you can only leave your home to go to work at an essential job or pick up your grocery items. They're urging us here not to hoard because it's not necessary. Things of that nature. People are still out and about doing what they do. But most of us are just staying in, scared. And it's understandable. I'm a little scared too, but my bread and butter job just happens to be one of those essential functions to the infrastructure of the United States economy, so... I'm not going to have nearly as much free time as I thought I was going to have. But, enough about that jazz. Taurus, we're going to throw down your cards for the first half of April today. This reading will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you. Okay. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, and it's not going to resonate with every Taurus, it's general. You can just chuck it into the circular file and never think about it again. Or you can check your moon rides and your Venus sign readings as they come out. You know, do whatever you want. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. And play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. You guys are welcome here too. Come on in and have a seat. I just threw on a fresh pot of coffee. Pardon me. That dry cough. Okay. We're going to go blind. We'll show the cards one by one and clarify. Never enough room on this table, I swear. It's all good though. Move this. There we go. Okay. Mm. Sorry, I'm a little scattered this morning. The phone keeps going off. Jacking up my energy. And I got enough things jacking up my energy right now. Just breathe. Everybody just needs to breathe. It's calming. It's soothing. It helps the negative thoughts escape. Okay. What has brought you to the table? Oh boy. The devil card. Not necessarily bad. Not necessarily good either. Powerful connection. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. And that could be all it means. Powerful binding connections. Potentially toxic. Take it however it resonates. We'll get clarity on it here in a minute. Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Prince of Pentacles. You feel like they may be moving a little bit slowly. Wanting to take their time. The, all, the offer's solid. It is also an earth sign card, so Capricorn. What do you think of them? Four of Cups reversed. You think possibly they... Maybe looking down at the past and the coulda, woulda, shouldas 
and they fail to see what's being handed to them. What do you want from them? King of Wands reversed. Ah. Huh. They may be a slightly confrontational person. Maybe you just want an end to the conflict. Maybe you're the one who wants things to slow down. I don't know. We'll see. How do they feel about you? Three of Pentacles reversed. A lot of Earth. A lot of Earth. They feel like the foundation's a little shaky. Like it's just not coming together. What do they think of you? Nine of Swords in the upright. Oh. They think you're all wrapped up in this. They could potentially think you're just bat poop bonkers. Like you're overthinking it. Obsessive. These two cards hanging out together in a spread is an indication of obsession. Taurus. Are you overthinking something? Are you obsessing a little bit? What do they want from you? Three of Cups. They want a coming together. They want unity. They want a celebration. We'll get clarity. They may just want to be friends. I don't know. What's the challenge? The moon reverse. There's a lot of unknowns here. What needs to be done? Nine of Wands. Push through it. This can be a card that represents walls being built. But this is somebody who's ready to stand up one more time and fight. Potential outcome is a sort. New way of thinking of things, looking at things, new thought processes. All right. Okay. It's pretty. It's pink. It's blue. It has moons on it. It's colorful. I like it. <sighs> Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Taurus today, please? For their first half of April reading. cards getting bowl shaped again. I have to find an encyclopedia and flatten them out. And yes, they do still print those. They're just really hard to find. <laughs> Alright, clarifying. The devil is the five of cups. Sadness. I get a sense that someone's still thinking about spilled cups from the past and can't see the two full cups. Her eyes are straight up closed. She can't see nothing. Maybe that's what has y'all wrapped up, Taurus. Okay. Why is the Prince of Pentacles here for how Taurus feels about the other person? One card, please. One card might turn into four or five. I don't know. I don't know how many cards it's going to take for me to explain this. And I don't ask questions like that of the universe. If it gives me a card and I get it, it gives me a card. If it gives me four or five and I still don't get it, I'm going to get a six. This is how I roll, gang. 
The universe is elusive like that. Especially when I've only had one cup of coffee. Oh, you want to talk. Two swords. Things are moving slow. You feel like they may be a little blind. Maybe have a difficult decision to make. Chariot reverse, this isn't moving forward. Somebody's being pulled in two different directions. Emperor reverse popped out. I'm going to put it back in though. See if it comes back out. Why is the Four of Cups reversed here? For what Taurus thinks of the other person? Eight of Wands reversed. They're not communicating. Again, things aren't moving forward. Someone's ignoring what the other person's trying to hand them. One more. Death card. Change, transformation. You could possibly think that they've changed their mind. And they don't know how to tell you. They're still processing. I think this relationship's in early stages. Could potentially be. Why is the King of Wands reversed here for what Taurus wants from the other person? This is really, really like flip flopped and mismatched. Card fell out. Seven of Cups. Cups is reversed. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> Sorry about that. I got a call. <laughs> He'll yell at me later. It's okay. Page of Cups. One more. Sun reversed came out. Well, it, it literally like it just fell out of the sky. That was pretty cool. Um, they want you to sort it out. They want you to be happy. They want to move forward. They want those little messages of love to be reciprocal. I think they understand that you have a choice to make and you're kind of jumbled. Why is the three of pentacles reversed here for how the other person feels about Taurus?
two came out. Four of Cups reversed and the Hermit reversed. Things are coming together. Someone's not catching the signals. Someone's ignoring what the universe is trying to hand them. I think they feel like you haven't healed from something. It's not quite coming together because you haven't healed from something, Taurus. They think you're ignoring... Sorry, you think they're ignoring what you're trying to give them. And they see it the other way around. You're the one ignoring the back signal. Why is the Nine of Swords here for what the other person thinks of Taurus? Thank you, Lovers Reversed. Just kind of fell out of my hand there. We're going to go with it. Three of Pentacles reversed again. It's not coming together and it's disconnected because someone's very obsessive. Someone's overthinking things. Someone's obsessive and kind of overthinking things. Why is the Three of Cups here for what the other person wants from Taurus? Five of Swords reversed. With the Moon reversed and the Page of Pentacles reversed. They want it to come together. But you have pieces that you have to pick up from something else. Things are yet to be revealed. They want you to slow down. Somebody in this scenario needs to slow down. Wasn't that interesting? I think it's interesting that the moon reverse popped out here too because it's right up here. Things are yet to be revealed. The challenge here is the unknown. Why is the moon reversed here as the challenge? Ooh, wow! Tower. You saw it fly. That was that was cool. That was cool. Oh, for the love of Pete. Mm. There's still change to come. There's things yet to be seen. There's too much that's unknown. Times are tumultuous. Things are crashing down. Temperance reverse. Things are unsteady. Things are unstable. Things are unbalanced. They're crashing down. There's too much unknown. Energy flows aren't flowing. Someone's being impatient. Why is the Nine of Wands here for what needs to be done in this situation, universe? Judgment reversed. Karma in this instance. Four of Swords rest.
push through rest your mind the story's not over yet you can't resurrect something that's not dead it's not dead yet somebody just needs to calm down somebody needs to stop overthinking things and stop obsessing that's sound advice just saying why is ace of wands here for the outcome ace of wands i don't know why i keep mixing up the ace of swords and the ace of wands probably because this particular sword kind of looks like a wand to me i don't know it kind of looks like my wand just saying anyway stop babbling just read the damn card space okay why is the ace of swords here for the outcome thank you oh boy potential outcome two cups came flying out in the reverse you watched it happen it's not saying that you two might disconnect it's saying that y'all are going to disconnect from something else possibly disconnect from a past that's weighing you down, you or the other person. Disconnect from negativity, toxicity, obsession. Page of Wands reverse. Things are going to slow down. They need to slow down. Take your time. Taurus, it's not a race. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Seven of Swords. Bottom of the deck. King of Swords. Advice. Be honest. We have to be honest with each other, even if you're afraid to be, because sometimes the conversation just needs to happen, and it is what it is. You can't resolve things if you're not talking about it. King of Swords. Now is the time to make logical, non-emotional decisions. Things are very shaky. There's a lot of unknowns, and that can make people obsess and overthink things. When you're like, ah, and you don't have a handle on it, you're going to get a handle on it. This guy's got a handle on it. Because he leads with his head, not his heart. Okay. Taurus, it's a little, it's, wow. I love you guys. You know I do. And I have never known a Taurus to be weird. Well, I, sh well, I shouldn't say that. My brother's a Taurus and he has a tendency to obsess about strange things. But I have to check and see what his moon and rising signs are. I don't know. I love you guys, though. Be blessed. This is your first half of April Read. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe if you feel so compelled. I never twist anybody's arm. Thank you so much for your time today. And I will catch you guys for your second half of April readings here in a couple of weeks. And I will catch you guys for your weekend top and bottom. Uh, probably tomorrow morning. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. I hit the button. Why is it not? There you go. Stop. Oh my goodness.